The Yucatan Peninsula is home to some of the most incredible postcard perfect beaches, lush jungles, and spectacular Mayan ruins. Join us as we travel to the Mayan Riviera for the sexiest bikini contest in all of Mexico. Mayan Riviera has become one of the fastest growing travel destinations in Central America. This hot spot offers spectacular views of the white sandy beaches and turquoise Caribbean Sea. I'm your host, Billy Joe Powers. Join us as we explore paradise and all that it has to offer on Bikini Destinations Mayan Riviera. On this episode of Bikini Destinations, we travel to the legendary Mayan Riviera. Located on the eastern side of the Yucatan Peninsula, this gorgeous countryside was once home to small fishing villages, but has since been developed into a modern tourist corridor. Offering the very best of high-end luxury resorts, fine dining, shopping, and world-famous nightlife. It is here that the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya has assembled the world's best swimsuit models as they enthusiastically compete in the sexiest bikini contest in Central America. Our first model comes all the way from South Africa. Let's welcome Adeline Maki. I started doing modeling because I had a passion for traveling the world. So I started doing competitions to travel. My first competition I did, I won, and they sent me to the finals in Malta. The bug bit me, and I have loved it ever since. I'm a singer. I am busy writing with a producer at the moment. I am going to focus on my music. Being in shape is not something you can just do for one month and then you're like, okay, now I have a six pack and then you stop. For me, it's a lifestyle. If I get angry and grumpy, instead of eating just chocolates, I go to the gym and I work out. And that is how I stay fit all year round. If I could go anywhere in the world for bikini destinations, it would definitely be Bora Bora. I have seen amazing pictures and I would love to one day be able to do a shoot there. Next up, bringing the southern charm, is Peyton Atkins from Louisiana. I first started modeling whenever I was 12 years old. When I'm not on the road modeling, I'm actually either at my dad's camp and we also ride four-wheelers, we go mud riding, and you know, it's just fun, and it's, it's really country, and it's all about family to me. I'm a real family person. Well, shooting at night is definitely different from shooting during the day. The water was so warm, and to have the water on my face and on my body and have the light reflect off my body was so amazing and I looked at some of the pictures and it was just incredible. With only 24 hours left in the pageant, the models are now assembling for the outdoor Miss Swimsuit USA International Rehearsals. This preliminary is the contestant's last opportunity to impress the judges before tomorrow night's competition. This was my first pageant that I've ever done. Hello everyone, representing Phoenix, Arizona, my name is Rachel Spence. But then you get on stage and you know, you see everybody and everyone's smiling and all you can do is be happy and they kind of, the nerves fade away. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all having a beautiful day. My name is Elise Duncan and I'm proudly representing Surfers Paradise Australia. Susa, once you're in Susa, it is a family. All the girls get along so well. Even if you compete together, they just want you to succeed and be better. 
So my favourite part about this pageant is the friendly people and the whole organisation. So every year it feels like you're coming back to a family. I, I really connect with everyone on every level and, and that's why I choose to come back each year. Our next exotic model hails from Perth, Australia. Welcome Elise Duncan. I started swimsuit modelling about five or six years ago. I was studying accounting and law at the time. Uh, my current boyfriend, he inspired and challenged me to give it a try. And ever since I've been in front of the lens, I absolutely loved it and I've kept doing it ever since. Kickboxing is, is one of my greatest passions. So um, pretty much I have a trainer, Troy, at Lifestyle Personal Training. and. Uh, he'll take me through, you know, sparring techniques and, and kicking bags and, and just really getting into it. If I could shoot anywhere in the world for bikini destinations, it would probably be Thailand. It has some beautiful islands there and I think you'd get some really unique shots. However, I would love for you to come to my hometown in Perth. It holds so much beauty and I'd love you to come down. From the Windy City, Chicago, here's Tawny Ring. I first started modeling when I was about 18 and I got suggested by a photographer to shoot for the first time. I took some pictures and I thought I really liked them and then I started getting offers. So then I just started keeping with it and that's how I got started. A day in the life of Tawny Jordan would probably be waking up, taking care of my Boston Terrier, working out if I'm not working. I do bartending on the side, and then I'm a Corona ring girl that's on Showtime and Box Sports and ESPN as well. I actually really love doing video. It's one of my favorite things to do because I get to express myself and I felt like the video shows more about me and I show my personality a little bit more. I also shot on the catamaran, which was pretty interesting. It was on the water and it was beautiful out. The wind was in my hair and I was having a good time. I had a lot of fun. After a week of incredible photo shoots and exciting activities, the sun is finally setting on the week's events. Join us now as 80 of the most exotic swimsuit models in the world compete at the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya. beating out of my dress. I, I was shaking, but I had confidence in myself and I just pushed through it and, you know, I gave it all I had. This is my second year being here. Last year, I was very fortunate to place second runner-up that year. I wasn't as prepared and so I got a little bit of time and I trained out a little bit more this year. The pageant is uh, a pretty great experience. I've met a lot of people and I've done a lot of new things. There's a lot of opportunities that arise doing this pageant. It's not about winning. I think it's about networking and hopefully making new friends and I've done all of that. So I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> And now are you ready to find out who our winners are? And our second runner-up, Cartagena, Colombia, Kathleen Arias! Your first runner-up, ladies, from Surfer's Paradise, Australia, Elise Duncan! You got the face of David looking for You got the look, you got the style And now, ladies and gentlemen, you're new. 2014 Miss Swimsuit USA International is Cape Town, South Africa, Adeline Marka! You got the face that they've been looking for, you're a superstar. Here I am, 
so blown away that I got the title. Miss Swimsuit USA International is an amazing title that benefits you so much with your career. So I would love to focus on my music and obviously my modeling as well. So we'll just have to see what happens, but I know nothing happens without working hard.